Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this third of a series on baggy webs, we discuss one method for screening for bagginess. My sincere advice to buyers of webs is not to make someone else's problem your own. Baggy webs are a defect and they should be rejected in return for credit. Often you need to escalate the response in order to catch sufficient attention of your supplier so that they apply sufficient troubleshooting talent. Of course, you have to be absolutely certain that the web is baggy, and we discussed this in some detail in the last modules. Of course, you have to be absolutely certain that you are not making the problem worse by having poor web machine design and maintenance. Roller mechanicals, such as poor alignment, deflection, and diameter variation, can conspire to make the problems worse. Poor controls for tension, nip, and temperature can conspire to make the problem worse. However, if you are certain that the majority of the problem belongs with the supplier, then you are ready to consider screening of raw materials. We discussed several methods in the last modules, but here I want to feature what I think is often the most practical screening measurement, and that is roll hardness. Excessive hardness variation indicates poor gauge control. Often roll hardness is a more sensitive measure of gauge variation than is a direct measurement of the web itself because you are measuring hundreds of layers with a roll hardness meter. Excessive average hardness increases the risk of plastically stretching the web over the gauge bands. The combination of these two measures captures the essence of the risk. If you have low hardness and hardness variation, the runability of the web should be higher. If you have high hardness and or hardness variation, it is quite likely the web will be excessively baggy and you will have trouble running it. This work by Amy Thur of Avery Dennison is one of the most brilliant and most practical papers I've seen in the last few years. However, this is an outline of a procedure. Your mileage may vary. You will have to determine your threshold of pain and tolerance for risk based on your particular web and web process. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for modules on wrinkling, bagginess, and many, many other web handling topics.